Before we further develop the birthday class, I would like to do two things. Uh, number one, I would like to add one more logical operator, which we already talked about. I just forgot to actually add it from the previous um, tutorial. So we talk about logical conjunction, disjunction, implication, and if only if. What about negation? Okay. So logical negation, as you learn, um, looks like this. So what would be the corresponding one in Java, first of all? So you know that very well. It should be explanation mark. So that'll be the logical negation. Okay. And then what about in iPhone? So in iPhone, in this case, it would be uh, simply spelled it out, just not. Okay. So that's logical negation. And the second thing I would like to do, I would like to, since we talk about the, the taxonomy of features, you know, features can be either attributes or routines, and routines can either be a command or query. So what about the syntactic structure for the queries and command? I'd like to give you some quick overview. We already talked about how you can define queries in the previous video uh, just by examples. But now I want to give you a little bit more specific syntax overlook uh, and also contrast that with the syntax of command. So let me move on to uh, uh, this particular new page over here. First of all, just for Eiffel classes, right? So now let's just talk about the general structure very quickly. So every class has the corresponding end over here is block syntax rather than curly brackets. And then give a name over here. And this create class over here is very important to explicitly list the commands as constructor. That's the focus for this current video. We'll get there in a moment. Okay. And then, as I said before, you can declare as many feature sections as you like to actually uh, bookmark different sections of your class. And then the most important contract you always think about would be the class invariance. Under what circumstances should instances of your class be uh, be considered as valid? So it's a very important uh, constraint to always think about. So the only highlight I would like to make is the invariance. That's very crucial, okay? So we already talked about uh, the invariance for the birthday class, uh, valid month, valid date, and also valid combination. And then uh, later on, I'm gonna give you a little bit challenge to think about some tricky uh, scenario if I have time. But anyway, so you already have seen some example for invariance, do practice that. That's about the syntax for classes. Let me talk about the syntax for commands versus query. So over here, I'm saying, uh, routines, right over here. I'm saying routines, and routines can be uh, subdivided into commands or query, right? Command or query, okay? And command basically is like a mutator in Java. It does not have any return type. So let's see the syntax in Eiffel quickly, okay? So now you're gonna give a name of the command, and then of course you can see there's no return type, right? Nothing here. How, uh, what about parameters? You can declare as many input parameters if you like, but they should be separated by semicolon. That's something we haven't seen so far, but just remember, it can, it's gonna be separated by semicolon rather than comma, like in the case in Java. And then the way you declare variable, as we explained before, it's gonna be separated by the colon, variable name, and also this is the type of the variable, okay? And then, uh, what about the header for query? It's gonna be similar, except that we have the return type. So this will be the return, uh, so will be the name of the query, and this will be as many parameters as you like, separated by a semicolon. And now, so the whole query is gonna have some return value. That's why it should be a member of some set, as we explained before. So this will be the return type, some return type. So here, I'm just not saying any particular example. I'm just saying in general. So that'll be the difference uh, between the header, okay? So hopefully you see the difference. One has return type, one does not. So what about the rest of the uh, the, the routine, okay? So the contracts uh, syntax will be exactly the same, okay? Let me just uh, highlight it. You can see we got one section over here for the precondition, right? So this precondition section is the same as between query and also command. So these two are the same, okay? What about post condition? The post condition also will be ensure over here. Notice that ensure comes before the end. Okay, it comes before that. So you can see the end is over here. Okay, let me draw better. End is here and also end is here, right? And also we got ensure over here. So the, the order of these keywords are crucial. If you get them wrong, then you will get compilation error, which will waste your time. So if you can pay attention now, that'll be great. Okay, and then as we said, as part of the implementation, it would be the block 
uh, between local and do, right? So that would be the implementation. And this part here, also the implementation. The implementation, okay? So um, a very common mistake, as I mentioned before, is if you actually uh, re uh, reverse the order between local and require, that's gonna cause you syntax error, okay? And then what's special about the, uh, the query in this case over here, let me mention something very uh, special, is because we have some return type. In the case of Java, you will simply uh, manipulate some variable or value, and then you simply say return uh, for that particular accessor, right? But in Eiffel, they do slightly differently. But it's uh, this is a easy way to think about how things should be done. I want you to think, imagine implicitly, okay? It's not really there, but imagine that, okay? So now this is the start of the implementation, and this is the end of the implementation, right? Imagine that there is an implicit first line and there's another implicit last line, okay, over here, right? What's the implicit first line? The first line will be, depending on what the return type is over here, whatever return type you declare, there will be a predefined variable that's reserved. So you can never declare a variable of your own called result, you can never do that, it's reserved. And then result is always declared to be whatever type it is for the return type over here. So I'm going to put some return type over here. Okay, so it's going to be some return type. So that's the implicit first line. Eiffel compiler does that for you when it compiles. So you don't have to do it. Don't do it yourself. Okay, and then uh, what about the implicit last line? So if you, for those of you who are still really used to the Java thinking, so implicitly think about we're just going to return. It's a single return uh, mechanism, okay? Whatever the last, re uh, the latest value is for result, you're going to return it, okay? So these are the two implicit lines you can think of. So hopefully that will make, uh, that will help you understand the way uh, query works in iPhone. And then what, what happens in between? So what happens in between the do and uh, between the first implicit first and last line will be, you will simply have to somehow manipulate. So it just manipulates, manipulates the result so that its latest value over there when it return will be the re desired result you wish, okay? And then one more thing to mention, okay? So for all the contracts over here, precondition, postcondition, precondition uh, pre -condition over here, and also post condition here, all the all, uh, each one of them should be a boolean expression. Okay, so for example, you shouldn't put any variable assignments in the contracts. Okay, uh, one uh, one more thing to mention. Okay, so just uh, whatever whatever that pops to my mind. So in the implementation, when you do variable assignment, remember it's call it equal. Okay, call it equal. On the other hand, if you want to do some equality comparison, for example, to create some Boolean expression, you should really use equality, right? I also explained uh, in the previous tutorial why they have been using equal over here as the equality rather than as assignment because mathematical reason. Okay, so that's about the two things I would like to re uh, review very quickly so that later on when I define uh, many other uh, queries or command, I don't have to review the syntax already. I assume you're, you already know the overviews from here.